Hey guys, so before I film this video, I already put my moisturizer on, so we're going to skip that step today. So let's go right ahead and start with the makeup. Today I'm using the Photo Loving Primer by NYX, and I apply that all over my face. Make sure I don't miss any spots, just so it is easier to glide on my foundation and my two concealers that you'll see. Ladies, also don't forget to prime your lips with a lip balm. So today I'm using the EOS in Mint. I'm sure everyone has this too. After I apply my lip pump, I then start with my first concealer, which is the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the color Warm Tan. And I get that all around my face where I have hyperpigmentation just for extra coverage before I apply my foundation. After that's all blended, I go in with my Bourjois Paris Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation in the color 55 dark beige it is a medium coverage foundation so it's definitely buildable and it is also hypoallergenic side note this is my song so it does take me a little longer to get ready because I love it now it's time to put on our under eye concealer today my weapon of choice is the Sephora bright future gel serum concealer in the color stable so make sure you get to your problem areas. My problem area is definitely my puffy eye bags, but here I am creating that infamous triangle that everybody does. But side note, it always works. Before I go ahead and blend it in, I'm just creating a more dramatic triangle to really get into my problem areas and get the look that I want. And then I use the same blender and make sure to blend it in. After that's all blended, I'm ready to go in with my setting powder and today it is the Makeup Forever um, Micro Finish Powder in Translucent. I'm just using a very fluffy powder brush from e.l.f. and I make sure I get that everywhere on my lids, around my face, down my neck, just to make sure my liquid foundation doesn't move. After I'm done with that, I then set my under eye concealer with a Sephora Bright Set Loose Finishing Powder in the color banana. When you're baking, make sure you put a lot of product underneath so your eyes and your under eyes are super bright when it's done. After I let my under eyes bake, I then go ahead and use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color chocolate. It has the dual tip, so it has the pencil on one side and the brush on the other. And since I've been using it for about a month now, it has definitely changed the way I shape my eyebrows. So ladies, if you don't have that guap for that Anastasia brow pencil, get this one because it is amazing. I use three products for my eyebrows. So the second one is the Eyebrow Designer by Essence in the color 04 Blonde. I just kind of make sure that I darken up my eyebrows to match my hair color because the NYX one is not dark enough for my actual hair color and my eyebrows to match. So I just go in both eyebrows and fill it up a little bit more to give me the thickness that I want. The last item I use for my eyebrows is this Tinted Brow Mascara by NYX in the color chocolate again. And this is just to set my eyebrows for perfection. Now that my eyebrows are done, we're ready to take off the setting powder underneath my eye. So I'm just using the beauty blender and patting it down as we go and move on to face. Now that we're done with eyebrows, we're going right ahead to contouring. So today I'm using the Naked Flush Palette and using it with a Quo Angled Brush from Shoppers. This palette is not super pigmented, so if you want more of a drastic um, contour, this is not the palette for you. I am looking for a more natural look, so that's what we're going with. Um, this is me kind of contouring my face because I don't know how to do it properly. Because this palette is not that pigmented, I go in with another bronzing powder by Essence in the color Brunette to kind of get that um, bronze that I'm really looking for so I do go right ahead and reapply a little bit more bronzer and it is a great add-on and layer because this bronzing powder is also not super pigmented but it gives you the right amount of bronze after I kind of contour my face I go right back to the naked palette and start using the blush 
Um, the blush is also not super pigmented, which I love because I just want that pinkish tone um, above my cheek. So I go right ahead and do that. Then I go to my favorite part, which is the highlighter. Out of all this trio, the highlighter is the best thing that has ever happened to this palette. Look at that glow. Look at it. So I go down my nose, I go above my cheek, and I go in my cupid's bow and my chin and kind of get that highlight that I want. So after I'm done with my face, I go straight to my eyes. Today I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in black. I don't do a winged drastic liner, but I just line my eyes the best way I can. Sometimes wing liner makes me look a little extra and I don't want that, especially because I'm looking for a neutral and natural look. After I'm done with my eyeliner, I go in with my Essence Plump Note Clump Volume Mascara and get that on there and really work it into my eyelashes. Now ladies, we all take long because we're always checking our phone. Guilty! After I check important messages, I go in with another mascara and it's the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline in Black Drama. Now to make my eyebrows more on fleek, I'm using the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight in Hefty Highlight and just putting that on the arches of my eyebrows. Don't forget your setting spray. Today I'm using the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray by NYX and just make sure you spray it all over your face. So this is the completed get ready with me look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.